Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a really cool package I want to show with you today. I've been waiting on this one for quite some time. It has the every elusive open on camera, but if you'll notice, it's from Kim's Custom Garage from Denmark. All the way from Denmark. And you can tell that somebody must have walked it over here because I think it took about a month to get here. No joke, it took a long time. And just today, um, Kim and I were, uh, I was talking to, uh, sorry, my phone always gets my attention. I apologize. Kim and I were on Messenger and he asked me if the package had come in. And I, you know, what a coincidence. I said, maybe it'll be in today. Anyway, I'm excited. This is cool. I like to shake those packages. It's got the plastic rattle sound. Let's open this thing up. What you say? I know Kim's been waiting on a, a dang month to, to see this. Longer than that. But uh, here we go. Let's see what damage. You know the box looks pretty darn good. It's a little little smushed right here. But I don't think there would be any damage. But the uh, Danish Postal Service. Then the American Postal Service. Or United States Postal Service. Or United Postal. No that's UPS. United States Postal Service. Got it. And they they were able to miss it with the truck and they didn't run over it. It doesn't look like they dropped it out of an airplane. All right, I'm excited. I've been literally, he's been talking about this and he finally sent it and, all right, let's see what this is. Read the back first. Let's do this, okay. Hey Matthew, finally here. Here are a little thank you uh, for the help with the Chevy Loves. Uh, remember that guys? I, if, I went back, if you go back and look, I sent, it ended up costing a ton of money still because shipping, but I went and uh, was able to get two Chevy Loves and shipped to Kim, and then I shipped on video, didn't he video them showing up. I hope you will build the kit. It's an easy one to build. Also, two boxes of my favorite candy. That's what that is. Yes. Uh, two boxes of my favorite candy. Uh, please share with Joyce. That's my mom, because my mom has sent him candy before over to Denmark, Heather, Ruthie, and Ellie. It'd be fun if you could taste it on camera. Well, you know, I probably will. Merry Christmas to you and your family, Kim. How cool is that? Another shop card. So, these are... Oh my goodness gracious, I can't believe what I'm seeing under there. I don't know if you guys actually saw it yet. Skipper's Pipes. Alright, so, don't want to give it away. I want to try this. <laughs> I want to try this candy first. Pipes. Um... Not, never have I ever heard of this. You know, Kim, it's funny that when you, uh, people, I think Merle, uh, sent you some stuff and it had candy and things like that. And you'd say you'd never had that candy or never seen something. I'm like, man, I've seen it all my life. So that's, we're worlds apart. So this is something I've never seen. But we are about to try her out. Skipper's pipes. I mean, are they pipes? Here we go. They are. Oh, they're chocolate pipes or, or some sort of. <laughs> so it's supposed to be a little pipe with fire on it. Okay, let me get this camera turned around here so you can you guys can see me. Let's see, where am I at? Okay, I got my glasses on. All right, Kim. All the way from Denmark, fresh out of the wrapper. Do I, am I supposed to smoke it <laughs> or am I supposed to eat it? We had candy cigarettes here in America when I was a kid, little red tips on them. So it smells like, now if I don't like it, I'm going to act like I do. I'll let you know, Kim, soon. I hope I was supposed to do it like that. I don't know what it tastes like. It's sweet. You hear me? But it almost has like a coffee taste to it. I almost thought at first it was like black licorice. Hmm. I don't know. I have seen some people eat like that Australian spread that the Australians or New Zealand people like to eat. I forget what it's called. And they actually they almost want to throw up. This isn't like that. 
I just want to figure out what does this taste like. Maybe. Well, I can't read that language, but it does say, since the 1930s, delicious. It is licorice. Pipe has been the skipper's steady companion on long journeys over the seas. Every time a ship is in a friendly port, the skipper makes sure to pile up with enough skipper's pipes so the crew can make their next journey without worrying about running out of their favorite companion. Okay. Not bad. Different. Very different. But not bad. They're not terrible. They're not bad at all. They're good. Okay. This isn't a candy channel. But that was cool. Okay, here we go. Put my glasses back on so I can see. Turn you guys back around. So you can see what's in this box. Because I already got sorry. I already got a glimpse a glimpse of it. Get this other skipper out of here. <laughs> but first there's something here. So a Revell parts pack. Very cool. A 421 Pontiac. These things are from way back. I don't think this one is, but they've been making these things forever. Really, really cool. I've never had a parts pack, Kim. Thank you. And it's got the, you can even see the crankshaft in that one. Cylinder heads. No, there's a cylinder heads. What the heck is this? I mean, it's half the block or something. Yeah, that's the top of the block that goes right there. All the supercharger and everything. Whole complete engine. Cool. Thank you, Ken. All right, here we go. Ready? Look at that. I can't believe it. That is too stinking cool. Tom Daniel beer wagon. Guys, these are not cheap or readily available. And he says he wants me to build it. So I guess I'll have to build it, Kim. I'll build it. 95 release of the beer wagon. Show rod. And you had to really fight yourself, I bet, Kim, to, to get rid of this because you are a show rod guy. Love those show rods. I love the chain drives on this thing. It looks like it's got almost airbag front suspension. No, it's big coils. Maybe it's airbags. I don't know. Let's look at the inside of this. I've never inspected one of these beer wagon. And then they made another one. It's the beer wagon, but it was a different, maybe it was a root beer wagon or something. I don't know. I hope Miss Heather doesn't see it and say she wants to build it. So it's a, it's a, seems very simple. And I, I know a lot of these show rods are simplistic. Simplistic model kits. So I think it's just more of the theme than it is the, the uh, details. But these are cool and this looks like it would have been an old mac truck or something like that and i do like how they have the old still have the um oh big gigantic uh planetary type drive or whatever uh, rear differential real heavy duty to carry those beer um beer kegs around so we get some of these parts out here look at them all the way from Denmark. Now, Kim, I'd like to know if you can put in the comment section, did you, did this, you buy this over there? Did someone send it to you? How, I mean, they actually have Tom Daniel beer wagons over in um, uh, Denmark, which is, which is really cool. I guess they do. Okay, so check this out. Let's see if I can get in on it. Copyright 19. Looks like they've tried to change it, but I think it's this. 67 the original copyright date and of course this has been re-released many times now I'm noticing something here there's two or there's a set of beer barrels now here's the hood and here are is a set of the chains that would hold the the uh, beer barrels from falling out on the back right there. There's a couple extra barrels here. I'll have to find that out because there are brown barrels as well. There's the 
That's the engine. Right there. Fuel injected with the uh, injection stacks. You can see the fuel lines. And the seats are in here and the flatbed. And a lot of, there's some small barrels too. What I was going to say is these are the wooden barrels that go in the back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. No, there's more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two of the barrels are two, one, two, three, four. Two of the barrels would have to be, that's, that's, that's peculiar. So they couldn't fit them all in brown because some of these barrels were on, I guess originally all the barrels were probably the same color. And this tree, they um, they decided to make it in brown plastic. Probably the later edition, of this one. And I bet they they I bet that they all used to be the all the same color. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And here's one chrome tree with the rear leaf springs, the sprockets. I like how the sprockets have that. The lower side of the sprocket has that droop down look. Very cool. And the super heavy duty springs to tote all that beer. There's a beer stein to drink that beer. Tail lights, or maybe headlights, tail lights. And uh, yeah, super cool. Here's a hand crank. There's the hand crank right there. So if it shuts off, you can fire back off. Gotta get the beer delivered. All right, now here are the wheels. Super cool wheels very nice love them love them love them steering wheel the fuel tanks are look like kegs and then there's some front suspension chrome is so nice and shiny and the injector stacks front axle headlights some more tail another tail light assembly but very nice oh here are the decals what am i forgetting this for oh these are just pristine too Beer wagon five cents. I can't wait to build this. I cannot wait. Thank you, Kim. Buddy, you are you are a nice guy. Thank you so much. Um look at the tires and wheels here. So here are the rear wheels, which are two piece Goodyear. Not does it say nylon? Yeah, it says nylon. I mean they're not nylon, but you know what I mean? They used to be they were nylon tires, bias ply blue blue streak is that what that says blue streak and these are the two piece ones so you would put the insert in there like old bob glidden car and stuff like that a lot of two piece tires reveal head which this is a monogram kit but and there's the front tires they are goodyear bias plies as well very cool don't want, oh, there's a, another beer stein that is, has fallen off. It's right there. You see it? And then, let's see if it says what kind of truck it is. Yep, a Mack Bulldog. Mac, the beer wagon is a mod rod version of the old Mack Bulldog. It's been compacted into everyday street rod using the latest rod techniques. The original flavor of the Bulldog has been re- uh, retained in the wild custom fiberglass hood cab and fenders and on and on does it say anything about the engine a box rail frame supports a cobra engine hydro combination which feeds a mac transmission <laughs> that's neat so yep this will be very cool very cool can't wait to see it uh built kim thank you man really appreciate you put these back in here before i forget that but yeah it's the beer wagon and uh the uh parts pack and i don't put that there put these out so you guys can see one more time before i turn this video off of what that kit is that is too cool thank you so much kim and thank you for the skipper's pipes your favorite candies let me read, make sure you said it was your favorite candy. Two boxes of my favorite candy, yeah. 
and I'm going to share them with my mom and with Heather and Ruthie and Ellie. And I'll probably send you a video or something of that, them eating these things. I thought it was pretty good. I'm going to have another one, but I don't want to smack on camera. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Kim at Kim's Custom Garage. Don't forget, I'm going to link him in the, in the description of the video. You go check out Kim's channel. If you've not subscribed, which you probably have already, but if you haven't, go give Kim a subscription and check out his content. He is a very nice fella. I've had him on my uh, Model Talk Live show before. We um, did that. Um, just have corresponded back and forth. Talked on the phone. It's just great guy. So you guys, go check out Kim's Custom Garage. And I will build this. Promise. Pinky promise. Is that how you do it? I was never in the Cubs. I was in the Cub Scouts, not the Boy Scouts. But anyway, there's a pinky promise. Maybe that was the Girl Scouts. I don't know. But I'll, I'll build this Tom Daniel beer wagon. All right, guys. You take care, and we will see. Oh, Hobby Nut Models. Check him out in the description of the video. Facebook group. It's in there, too, along with the Spring Store and the Patreon page. So you guys go check all those things out. And I'm done. Take care. Let's go have another pipe. See ya. Bye.